Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol IDXG. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame. I think it does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Uh, there's a lot of perspective that goes into this one. So from a presentation standpoint, you know, I, I kind of always got to uh, clarify things. So what do I mean by perspective? Well, if you are a day trader and you bought right there and you were hoping to sell within, you know, 18.3 seconds, then yeah, for you, the chart's looking very rough. If you care about the big picture of things, then sure, there, there was a big pullback today. But even with that, the bulls still have an opportunity to build a higher base and therefore build upon this uptrend that they're working on. And I'm gonna be talking about things from a big picture perspective. So if you think I sound crazy because I'm calling something bullish, my guess would be you probably had a different strategy or different perspective going into uh, you know the trade itself. So first key point to really illustrate this point is right here at, uh, what is that? $2.75. So let's say the price comes down here a few more times, bounces around 275 and then heads back up. If indeed that happens, well then you'd still have a set of lows right here. You'd have this set of lows right there. You'd have this set of lows down there. And if you picture each one of those as stair steps, well, hey, you have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. Now again, I fully realize if you bought up there and you wanted to sell super fast as a day trader, then you could care less about these overall stair steps. But that's why I'm trying to quantify things and uh, not quantify, but just, uh, you know, disclose that I'm talking about things from a, a longer term type perspective. So $2.75, uh, it's certainly the ideal level of support. If the price cannot hold above there, then you definitely, in my opinion, the must hold level of support is that purple line right there, the 50 period simple moving average. If the price were to close below that purple line and worse yet start to separate to the downside of it, uh, you know that would just be a sign that the, the bears are taking back over. But key thing there to remember is this is the moving average. So keyword there, moving. So as time goes by, that line's gonna move its way upwards. So again, if you wanna picture that as a tread line, that's more a simplistic way to, to look at it because obviously kind of by definition, if the price stays above an uptrending line, that implies that the price itself is putting in higher lows, which is what bullish moves do. What about areas of resistance? Key level of resistance going into tomorrow, I'm gonna call right up there at $3 and we'll call it about 15 cents, give or take. Yeah, this level is technically an area all the way up there, but before we start talking about 350 and above, uh, the bulls first need to you know, stabilize on the pullback and then show some signs of strength. And the first you know, quote unquote showing signs of strength would be getting back above this $3.15 mark. So pretty wild day today. It'll be interesting to see how this closes out the week tomorrow. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then by all means, click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.